I've grown weak. Look around you, Kuvar. If any of us were strong, we wouldn't be on this beach. That's not fair. We can still take it back. Once the rest of you are done licking your wounds, of course. Thanks for taking that thing down. We're supposed to be warriors, not crafters. What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. The Mead Hall. Up there on the hill, we were... Some reeklings have taken it over. With tenacity and numbers, it didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much mead, too many stories, too few battles. Are you offering to help? Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. Well, let's move then. Glad to not be working on that ugly thing anymore. Finally getting some sleep. Do you know of the Skull? A long time ago, a man named Hrothmund left the Skull to form his own tradition. Warriors in the wild, living like the Nords of old. They would hunt, they would fight, and the mightiest among them would rise up as leader. But those days are behind us now. We brought ourselves out here, along with our shame. We used to be proud warriors of Thirsk Mead Hall, there, up on the hill. But we let that sweet life get the better of us. We grew soft and... Reeklings. Those filthy vermin. They came in numbers. Waves of the things. One at a time. They're pests. But with this many. And so here we are. Out of our home. Mm-hmm. Hey, you lazy milk drinkers. Get over here. I know you're all starting to settle in here, and keep up the fat lives you've got used to up in the hall. But look here. This outsider has more fire than any of you. All I had to do was mention our little infestation, and he volunteered in a second. I don't want to have my spirit outstripped by some wanderer, so let's get up there and kill us some reeklings.
Ah, uh, that was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? Good to hear. In fact, that's just the spirit I'll need from my second. Do you want to come with me? To Rothmund's Barrow. I need to get his blessing again before we take up residence here. I'll need a witness and, well, you see the kind of horker brains I deal with around here. What do you say? Well, let's not waste time talking about it then. Let's...
Are you ready to go inside? The burial place of Rothmund, who founded Thursk. He brought a group of true warriors away from the soft life of the Skal to know the wilderness, to feel the sting of cold and of steel. I know that sounds a little silly. It's just the way it's written in the books, and that phrase has always stuck with me. It's pretty simple. Rothmund's axe is in there with him. Anyone who attempts to take hold of it has their spirit judged by Rothmund himself. No, no, nothing like that. He doesn't need to battle us to know us. He's always watched over Thursk and sees us from beyond. And in my case, since he's already deemed me worthy, it will just be a matter of him remembering why he blessed me before. But really, all you need to do is watch. Let's not waste any time then. So I just need to take hold of it. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thursk Hall? I do. It is I, Bujold. You blessed me in the past, and now I've rid the Hall of Reeklings and returned it to its rightful owners. And well it is that this has happened. But I have always watched, and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. You allowed no, your fellow I... warriors to grow weak, while the dangers around you mounted. Then... the leadership is not mine? No. Nor is there any among you fit to serve. For a band in the wilderness, it is better to have no leader than a poor one. That was a little embarrassing. The only thing I can do... I need to return to Thursk. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader, and I'm still the best person for that. Look what's happened to us so far under his watchful eye. He gave his blessing to all the leaders who brought us to this point. Anyway, he's dead and we're alive. It's time to begin a new tradition for Thursk, and I'm going to do that. All I need is for you to back me up. You don't even need to lie. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. Good. See that you do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a hall to lead. We have enough problems around here without having to build that blasted thing outside. Thanks for helping us wake up and move off it. What's that? 